So I'm back. So today's video is going to be the team project fan. So take about two because of this score to pull the cord out. Yeah, she's getting bigger. So let's see how long she stays on my little app. Probably not very. Lucius is this being a little, taking a little cat nap. My little almost 10. Um, he's going to be 11 weeks coming. Not 11 weeks. 11 months coming up. And he always thinks he gets a birthday on his birthday, which is on the 11th, approximately. Okay, let's get started. So, so the eyes kind of these are the empties. So, all the eyeshadow primer from, of course, Ulta. This is the white primer. This one is, of course, a white base. I really do like the white base primers. They're easy for me to, they make my eyeshadow pop. pop. No, you can't have it. Um, but yeah, so there's that guy. Then, let's talk about, oh, this is a brow product. Then we got the Clinique Quick Line of Eyes. This one's in really black. This is what he kind of looks like. It's a twisty. I do like Clinique stuff. Um, Any time that I want to find some something, baby's moving. Um, but yeah, every time um, Rania always finds something of Clinique, she always sends it to me. So yeah, um, I like more Clinique. I love Clinique. Clinique and Too Faced is one of my two favorite brands um, out there. And I do really like um, Polite Society as well. And of course, why not? Because it's the owners of Too Faced. So, of course, I would like it. Little cutie. I think she's like 12 weeks now, I believe. I'm going to lock you with a putty cat if you don't behave, Squirt. He's sleeping in the bedroom like a being a good boy. So, let's talk. No, don't play with the core like he did last time and make it pull. And then we talk about the Lancome item mascara. I love item Lancome mascaras. Hang on. She keeps messing with the um, tripod and with the cord. So there's the mascara because that's anything's moving, you know? Why not? So this is what the mascara looks like. I do really love Lancome mascaras. They look really good for my lashes. Okay. This girl's going putty with putty cat. Hang on. I just realized puss is right there. I thought he was sleeping in the bedroom, but he's not. Brat. Um, but yeah, he's cute. So yeah, when the boys are sleeping, this chick is nuts. Okay, now let's talk about two uh, two primers real quick. So this one is a Dr. Brad um, backlight primer. I'm so glad to have this out. It wasn't my favorite. Um, it didn't really do anything. Um, maybe a tad bit illuminating, but not too much. And then this guy is a glow, Jekka Black. This is a Glow Drops, what it looks like. Um, this one I didn't like at all. It's a rose pure, pure, um, it was a, it's one of those things if you want to use it as a highlighter, it's very subtle. If you want to use it as a primer, it's, it's a little bit on the glittery type of side. So that's what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's really pretty, but, um, I don't get why they call it a primer. <laughs> like, it's very subtle as a highlight and it's just, I just didn't really like I don't like it. It didn't really scent off the skin. I love it when I was mixing it with my lotion. And it was just beautiful on my legs. And that's how I finished it up. I was using it to about probably about here. And then I got tired of it. Then I was just mixing it with my lotion just to use it up. And then I, I liked it better that way. It gave me a nice glow to my legs. So yeah. Not a fan. Okay. Next let's talk about this um, Milani blush. This one is in a rose Dior. Oh, rose Dior. Whatever you say. Cart how they pronounce this is like Wells and D then yeah whatever um but yeah this that guy so I had about like a little bit left so I decided Frank came up with the blush and I got it out so this is a swatch of it it's really pretty I do really like it um if it was of course a big compact I probably would but you don't get much in these things you only get 0.12 but of course when are you gonna but this the Milani blushes for me are very easy to pan I have these remind me, um, these pan as well as Becca blushes do, and I go through Becca blushes like water. Um, but yeah, so there's those. And then we got the, um, Caramu, um, Glow, where this thing called? Melina, whatever, I don't know. Came with like a little stopper thing, and then, of course, I, didn't. I popped that out to finish the rest of it, and that's how I did. So there's that. Wasn't my favorite, whatever. Okay, now let's get into eye category. So let's start off with the, um, the Clinique. Quick liner for eyes intense. So of course this one is the more intense version of that one. And I do prefer this one. This one had a little bit of breaking issue. Not too bad, but it's a little bit. This one so far has not broke. It's another one that um, you twist yuppie and it doesn't twist back down. 
Um, of course, it's a black, well, jet black, and it does really work. Of course, I've had it on since uh, down here since 5 o'clock this morning, and it stays there. Um, it's one of these, I do really like it. Um, I haven't decided if I want to purchase this guy. If they go on sale, Ulta, I would. But full price, eh. Um, yeah, I do really like the Maybelline one. Amazing, amazing eyeliner. It's, um, it was one of these twisty uppies, and then it's in the green packaging. Freaking great eye twist up eyeliner from the drugstore. I even use it for tight line, and it does not work. These two, those two are very similar. Now let's talk about the other color contour stick. Um, on what skin tone? Yeah, like Lily, what skin tone? It's not a, it's not a contour. Um, I had, I used the deep one and it barely showed up on my butt. So LA Colors doesn't one. They do go deep, but not certain things. Not a Dollar Tree. Um, sometimes they're lucky and they, you know, so the packaging cracks every freaking time. Um, so this is what it looks like. I do really like it. Um, and it makes a nice eyeshadow base. And of course I use it on top of, um, eyeshadow primer underneath them and it does last. Then we're going to talk about the, um, the true, true Love of Beauty, and this is in the black one. So there's the um, black eyeliner. I do really like it. Um, eyeliners, are, eyeliners for me are kind of picky. Sometimes I usually have issues out here. This one is okay. It, um, it does a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so there's that one. Here on, I got called. So I'm putting in two new products, and we start off the next... Um, Professional, yeah, brow tint pen. So it's one of those similar pens type of product. Come on, that douche. But yeah, this little guy, um, I don't really like. I don't like NYX brow products. It seems like they're just kind of scratchy. Um, so I'm like, I'm putting my brows, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. and it's like, okay. But yeah, it doesn't have, I know one of them for Omni um, K, if you want a brow pen, that dude's intense, a little brow pen. Um, and it has a brow pens or two. The only problem is that undertone is really weird. I think one of them, I think it was in taupe there, um, more for brown. Blondes, and it was kind of like a green. It's, they got really weird undertones. But man, it's a really intense, um, brow pen. So I'm most likely just going to, I'm probably not going to use any more brow pens and stick with pomades. So this one, it's a Milani one. That's what it looks like. This guy is in, I believe, um, soft brown. This is the lightest one. It does work for me. It's not too deep for me. Um, sometimes soft brown one's a little bit deep. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I do like it. But the problem I have with drugstore or pomades is that they dry out quick. I've had, of course, um, the only ones I have from the drug, not many from the drugstore that I try that actually, um, dries up, doesn't dry up quick. L'Oreal made a pomade, like a taupe. And I think I panned like three of them. It was it wasn't a pomade. It was um like those iPod things, and I panned like three of them, um because I used it as a pomade, and it worked really good. But you know, drugstore discontinues everything under the moon. Um, but yeah, the one I find similar to the ABH is the Morphe. I tried many pomades from the drugstore and nothing has actually compared to the ABH Slassy Pal. I also also tried Hyo N, like ABH, not ABH, um, Benefit, and also um, there's another one I tried. I think Tarte, I think I tried that one. All of them, I'm like, ABH has like the best pomade out there. And the Morphe. But yeah, there's that one. Okay. Now let's talk about a couple of mascaras. You go there, and what's that the little douche? Okay, so we've got three mascaras. This is the Too Faced Natural Bad and Sex um, Mascara. The funny is I like this one better than the other one. Um, they do get about the same. There's nothing too much difference between the two of them. And of course, you guys seen this guy in, in um, a million times, so yeah. Um, I don't have any um, mascara on my lashes because 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, do you think I'm going to put mascara on? No. Um, I do do sometimes, but not often. I'm just not being in a mascara mood. And then this one I do like from ColourPop. This is a lengthy mascara. So let me show you what the brush looks like. Um, I do like it. It's not too, it's not like wet, wet, but it's not 
dry. It's kind of like right in the middle kind of formula. It does really work for like lengthening and does it really lengthen? Not really. Um, Hypnose Drama from Lancome is the best volume and lengthening mascara I've ever tried. If you put that thing on uh, and if you put the primer underneath of it, it's going to look like the eyelashes up to my eyebrows. Um, every time I wear that mascara, people always ask, ask me if I have falsies. I'm like, nope. No, mine. Um, but yeah, very good mascara. Um, Lancome, you can always get minis. That's a good thing about Lancome is that they do sell minis. Definitely highly recommend Lancome mascaras. And then this guy I picked up on the drugstore from Dollar Tree. This is, um, Lash Out Waterproof Mascara. So here's the brush. It's a little guy. The only problem is that they kind of gets a little bit, you know, messy, but yeah. It's, um, it's a decent, um, it's not super wet, but it's not super drying, but it does get, you can probably see it, chunky. You can see the top of it. It gets a little bit on the chunky side, but I do like it. It's not too bad. Okay. Now let's talk about primers. Ugh. Talk, we're going to bring in, I have three primers to talk about because one's a mini and one's a newbie and, um, yeah. So this is the Too Faced Plump, um, Prime Luxury Face Prime Serum. I do really like it. He's a little mini guy. I'm going to, first I want to finish using this guy up and after I use this guy up, I'm going to go into, this won't take too long. This is a W7 Prime and Magic. This is a guy I got from Teach, not Teen Max, um, Five Below. And this is the Hydrating one. So, I've used this once and I forget how it was, so I'm kind of excited to use this one. I was going to bring in my Revolution and I was like, wait, not quite yet. Because that one, I need to be like winter before I use that one. Then, of course, let's talk about the Vitamin C one from e.l.f. e.l.f., you know me, is not my biggest fan. Some products I do like from e.l.f., some I don't. You know, yeah, the packaging sucks. Okay, I just got him open, I think. I had not screw on tight, so that's what he looks like now. So, I'm, I doubt I'm going to get it done in one more month, but maybe two, two at the max. So, yeah, I need to get it and use him up quick. He is one of my oldest primers in my collection. I do, of course, really like it. I like it more in the winter than I like in the summer because it's a little bit more hydrating than um, in, in the summer. I don't. I prefer the other one, the original one, over this one. And that one's not too bad, too, but yeah. I'm going to talk about um, foundation. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect um, Tinted Balm. I do have this one, and of course, a little bit of the technique on my skin. I, of course, I did reapply everything because, yeah, 5 o'clock in the morning, you think it's going to stay? Probably not. Um, but yeah, I was, of course, and I went tanning and then I sweat. Yeah, not a good idea. So there's that. Of course, I've had bottom of the jar. Um, I'll see how much I can use up. I do use this a lot. Um, this one will work way better for me when it's in the winter time because it's a lot. It's really hydrating. If you have dry skin, you probably really like it. If you don't have dry skin, stay away from this guy. It's very too um, moist, like you want to call it. But yeah. But yeah, I I know it's supposed to compare to um, that one bomb. I haven't tried it. But yeah, so there's that. You know, pot things go bad. Okay, now let's do concealers. So I still have the two same old concealers. Um, I'm working on this guy. We're not sure where he's at because, you know, two B's don't. Two B and ear um, doesn't really go together. So, yeah, we're not sure how far he's at. So, yeah, when he starts to get hit, there's an air bubble in here somewhere. So when he starts, air bubble gets out, then we can track him more. But he's still kind of squishy. Then the hourglass, this one is in, um, of course, the shade, and this one is in, who the frick knows? I think Graham Cracker, I think. Then we got the hourglass, and this is in um, Beach. This is the one I have underneath my eyes right now. So, yeah, there's that. You do have window in, in this guy, too. So, I'm guessing soon I'm going to have to take out the um, Dofa. As I'm looking, and it's still, I got a lot of product in it, so I don't need to take it out. But I'll probably take it out, like, say, in the next week or two. And then hopefully um, by the next update, I can finish them off. 
Okay, now let's get into powder. So let's start off with, of course, the By Terry Pow powder. This one is in Colorless. So yeah, this guy is like so going fast, right? So yeah, white. Don't you just love it when you can't see anything? Okay, come on, little dude. Okay, so we are at, after the stupid thing sort of right about there. So it was kind of like up in here somewhere, and then I'm down here. This guy just going to take a little while to pan. Um, he does have, it's 0.35 ounces, so as much as it costs, I think it's like 45-ish or whatever, and you do get a lot of bang for your buck. I do like it. It's nice. Flashback, I have no idea because I don't really do any photography for it. But yeah, so that's that. The sign is so draining my down my throat. Okay, and then we got my little Franken dude. So, so we are at kind of like here. And we are up here. This guy is going to take a hot minute to go down. So that's the way we at. So he was up to the top um, when I first started, but yeah. So this, that. Hopefully soon it'll go down more. So hopefully next month we see some progress. And get, um, hopefully these guys are getting closer to use up. Now, um, the part, of course, we're putting in a blush, and let me show you the, um, the highlighter, the, the bronzer, I have little no progress on it because I really wasn't using it. I was trying to use my Franken, but I did, um, of course, expand the paint on this guy from Maybelline. The, um, the paint is not, the paint is more this way instead of this way. Um, so yeah, so this, that guy, this guy was not that hard to hit paint at all on. So this one is in Molten Gold. like I do use it um but of course I'm trying to use my other ones up of course but yeah and then let's get into of course the um the bronzer from Morphe so I'm pan trying to pan both bronzers from Morphe these are of course the oldest ones in my collection at the moment of course I still have Delphic and Nars and all these other good too she's in there as well but yeah so there's that one so when I mix, of course it has kind of like a satin bronzer and then it has a matte bronzer. So when I mix these two together, I get um, that shade right there. This is more neutral, isn't? It? It's more, but it's not too warm. I do really love these. Um, I wish they make a shade between the two because that's where I'd be at. This one is very is natural, more natural on me than the other one. The other one I gotta be careful how I use it because it gets. It's the undertone. If it was a little bit, it's more neutral. So I gotta be careful how I use it because if not, it's gonna look really a little bit on the muddy side. And then here's one of my oldest blushes in my collection. This one is, of course, a, the Urban Decay After Glow Blush. I wish they'd bring these things back, but Urban Decay is Urban Decay. Damn it, this son of a bitch freaking crack. Okay, so that's what he looks like. This quickie. Can I push him in? He's a very bubblegum hot pink. You know, my favorite thing in the world. You'd be surprised on my tan skin that, um, my warm skin that I can pull these things off. You guys are always surprised when I put a hot lipstick on you guys like. I'm like, yup. The only ones I can't pull off are the ones I can pull off if they're like a blue base. I can't pull them off if they're purple base. It looks weird. Okay, now we got the last three items. So... Talk about a sense, but I swear to God, I thought this guy was going to go down, use up, but he's down to here, so, and he's not that big. Why can't I use up 1.77, um, flu ounce and freaking sense, but, um, but yeah, so he's at like right here, so this guy should be going by next month, like Lily, right? So that's the sense, but I sprayed on him right before I'm done. And then we have the serum. So this is, um, the one I picked up TJ Maxx. Because Gain and Keek, um, Vitamin C, Radiant Sim, I do really like it. Um, I haven't noticed any brightening. If I notice, it'd be like... <laughs> but yeah, so we are at right here. I just started this about a week ago, and I'm already right here. But yeah, so we see how he is by next um, update. So I'll probably be maybe down here somewhere. Could be kind of cool. So maybe two months I can get that guy out. And another and then freaking 
because I don't use it. Um, I hate body mist. And funny, I was at a Ross, Ross, um, looking for some stuff, and I was looking at body sprays. Duh. Don't use them, sir. But yeah, I do really like this one. This is a mango nectar. Um, this one is the mango, um, my Thai. And this one has mango nectar, sunkiss, guava, and sugar cane. So we kind of like up there. Yeah, if you know been on my channel for a while, um, I am so horrible at pain and body sprays. So yeah, this guy's gonna be next and come into 2025. Unless I spray the shit out of Jason's room and I use about probably half in the next month. But you know, hopefully I can do that, That'd be nice. Um, might help his room out a little bit. Probably not. But yeah, and also the moisturizer, I forgot to show you. The case of the Exfoliant Glow. That's what he looks like. So yeah, we are getting really close. So I'm guessing maybe next month I'll be almost get this thing done. I'll be exciting. I think I have one more of these guys left and I'm done with this um, moisturizer. I do really like it. It does have like a little bit like tingling sensation on your skin. But I do like it. Um, of course, it flops in, T in like TJ Maxx or uh, Box Charm. I probably would grab another one, but yeah. So um, let's see. Here. Anything that be gone next month? Um, let's see here. Definitely the little mini guy. He be gone. Yippee ki yay. We can probably. I'm gonna see how well this guy is and see how I can last him. Then hopefully I can have a uh, concealer gone. But other than that, um, the elf primer is gonna be a maybe. I've the, the, the elf putty primer would be a maybe. Um, the other guys are probably no, <laughs> unless I franken out the highlighter. But um, probably not um, because I need to use up my other frankens and go from there. I did of course decide. To Frank in a little bit because I kept the Delphic packaging, so I got rid of the next one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so this next month's gonna be probably a slow and steady wins to waste type of project, but um, we could have a moisturizer going that'd be almost done, that'd be kind of exciting. Oh, we probably have this guy done too, so that would be exciting to roll the one of these guys in. So we're gonna probably have like say three. Maybe four empties next month, hopefully. Um, and of course, it all depends on how these guys are by the end of the month. But other than that, um, I don't know how well the how much is in the Clinique, but and maybe the Elf might be gone. But other than that, that would be definitely about it for um, um, for empties. So we could have maybe maybe six empties at the most, hopefully. And if I want, to, it depends on what I want to do with the Master Chrome highlight. Um, but yeah, until my next video, I see you guys later. Bye guys. I am probably going to do, um, I'm not sure yet because, um, Jason's goes to work at 6 PM. So I'm not sure which exactly days he goes to work at, but yeah. So I see you guys later. Bye guys.